Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to fix this uh, PHP executable not found error and cannot validate since no PHP executable is set. So most often you will get this error as soon as you install this extension PHP IntelliSense to show the um, keywords related to PHP, the reserved keywords related to PHP and this is for making a PHP file on your Visual Studio Code. So when you install this two extension you will get this error since you have not configured your PHP on Visual Studio Code even though you have installed a XAMPP or MAMP on your computer. So if you go here and see this is where the php.exe is. So it's present in my C folder and inside the C folder I can see a folder called XAMPP. So if you are using this XAMPP, if you are using anything like MAMP, you, you could find the folder in C drive or somewhere in the program file. Just go inside that and here you can find a folder PHP here. So go into the folder and you need to find this php.exe. So if this is here, just copy this path and put it over here. Slash php.exe so that it will point this php.exe and we need to escape this with one more slash so now go and copy this settings so we are going to add this settings to a visual studio code so just put it here separated by colon so now go to settings.json file so to go to settings.json file you can use a shortcut control shift p and this is the first setting so since i have recently used it, so if it is not showing you can type settings in the search box and click on this one so here you can see it's showing only two things and if you have added some other settings you can see that as well so just don't alter or do anything what you have to do is you just need to append this one to the existing setting you have so if you try to alter that there could be a chance that some other application may not work properly so i'm going to press on enter and put this one so now save and close and do a restart So now you cannot see the error so even if I open the embedded PHP you cannot see that PHP this is related to git you can just ignore it so will not get this PHP since you have set the proper executable file to the visual studio code so that's it if you still have any doubt just drop your doubts in the comment section I will get back to you and if you like this video give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye